Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and today we will learn how to design this 5 steps circular infographic. So let's begin with the tutorial here. And yes, meanwhile you can subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like and share this video. So the first step is to design the background and we will use a gradient background. So we will need two gradient stops and the gradient type should be radial and direction you can keep the middle one. On the first gradient stop fill white color on the second gradient stop you know you can pick like a light blue or light gray color and you will get this beautiful effect so that's what we need here now insert this pie kind of shape and place it at the center and you can use these guides that appears on the screen whenever you place any item at the center and reduce the size of this pie, duplicate this pie, place it at the center and create the second slice of this pie. Similarly, we will duplicate it, place it at the center like this and we will create the third slice of this pie. If you find this video uh, fast so you can slow down the video by using the cog icon and there you can select the speed if you think it's slow you can fast the speed you can watch this video at 1.25 or 1.5 so this is the fourth slice and similarly duplicate it and place it at the center and use these yellow points to shape this slice so you know it's pretty easy and you you've just seen how we can create this beautiful infographic so the base is ready now we just need to color it properly so remove any outline and now we just need to color one by one and you can see at the top i have already placed a color palette so i've just copied it from the google images there you can search color palettes and you will find many color palettes and there are many online tools as well where you can create color schemes so we are going to fill gradient colors in these pies and slices and now use format painter and apply the same color on all these slices so that way it would become much easier for us to fill the color. Now we just need to use the eyedropper tool to fill the colors from the color palette. You just need to pick the color. And on the second gradient stop, move this slider downwards to make it a bit darker. So we have to follow the same steps on all these slices. On both the gradient stops, you need to fill the same color. And then on the second gradient stop, go to more colors and move this slider downwards to make it a bit darker. So this color is already very dark, so it's not that visible. But for rest of these slices, you can see the change, the gradient flow. So the steps are repetitive here and it's very easy to design such infographic so this is our fourth slice applied same color on both these gradient stops go to more colors and move the slider downwards And now let's move the color palette away because our infographic circle is ready. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, if you are new to our channel, just click on that subscribe button. And also it would be great if you can click on that like button as well. Now insert this circle and place it at the center. So here you can add the title of this infographic for example like process or steps or anything 
depending upon the content you have so fill the gradient as outline on this circle also increase the width once you will increase the width you will you will see that outline here apply shadow effect increase the blurness to like 30 to 40 points and increase the transparency to around 70 to 80 points and you will get this beautiful effect here i'm slightly adjusting the outline of this circle at the center so it gives a very nice 3d look now insert one more circle and place it at the center like this it should be smaller than the pie that we have created and fill gradient and fill dark color on both the gradient stops on the first gradient increase the transparency to 100% and slightly move the slider to the right just test and see at what point it looks fine on the second gradient stop also slightly increase the transparency I think this looks fine and you can see it looks very 3D kind of thing. So on the selection pane, you can select the layer you want. So this black circle that we had created, just duplicate it one more time, reduce the size and fill solid color. So we have filled white color in it. And increase the transparency to like 90% go to selection pane and move it or send it to back behind this center circle you can always use the selection pane again duplicate that circle we have created one more copy and place it at the center again move it downwards in the selection pane so all these circles are behind this center white circle. Now select all these slices. These are called partial circle. Go to shape effects and apply shadow. Increase the blurness and then the transparency as per your requirements. When I say as per requirements, I mean the point where you you use the point at which you think it looks good you can stop the sliders there so you can see here it has started taking the shape now it looks very beautiful glossy now insert this hollow circle remove the outline go to shadow effects and we'll apply this inner shadow so it's like it's embedded on the base of this slide. Increase the transparency. Apply pattern fill here. So you can find lots of patterns here. You can pick any pattern you want. And you can select the foreground and background colors here. So I've tried and tested all these patterns here. So I'm still thinking the pattern I should select here. I think this looks fine for now, the grid pattern. So I've adjusted the transparency as well. So it's all about experimenting with different schemes here, like moving the sliders, adjusting the transparency, adding one more layer of this translucent shape so you can always do such things 
now we have duplicated the circle and filled a different color so that we can select it now select both these circles and subtract and you will get this shape now increase the transparency fill white color and then increase the transparency to get this glossy effect and on the second layer I have just changed the color from white to black just to see how it looks and I think black looks much better than white so then you can adjust the transparency levels on both these layers the layers that we had created behind this center circle if you just if you if you remember I think more than black this purple color suits much better because it's the color scheme that we are following so so this looks much much better now we don't need this color palette at the top and our infographic base is ready now we need to add the content here slightly reduce the transparency to give it a harder glossy look now it looks much better for the base i think i need to change the pattern this looks better to me but you can keep the grid lines as well so i always create my designs in the real time it's not that i have prepared it before I'm doing it in the real time so that's why you always see some back and forth while I'm designing these slides now comes the icons I, I just love icons and icons really enhances the beauty of this slide so let's place the icons one at the center and rest on the slices make sure the icon represents the content that you will be adding here so i'm just putting some random icons here and very important thing to remember if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, subscribe to our channel and we will bring out more such beautiful videos for you and you can always download the template from the G Drive link provided in the video description next to download. So you can always do that. You can practice, you can create your own slides. So we have placed the icons here. Now comes the content. So content is very easy. You just need to insert the text box and just write the content. So I'm using this new font nowadays well Mosterat is my favorite font but i have used it so much that i have started kind of feeling bored of that font so that's why i've changed and started using this font but now i'll switch back to Mosterat in few days but it also depends upon the template that you're following if you are some brand manager and so, so your template must have these predefined fonts like a Arial or Calibri that you have to use so those are those are also good fonts but these look much better Now you can insert these lines and add the content here. So you can always draw this custom line and oops, you have to go to shape outline, not the shape fill. And let's pick this color here and begin arrow type, select this last option and same for the end arrow type and you will get these two small 
dots at the start and at, at the end of this line place this line adjacent to all these slices that we have created you just need to copy and paste you can press ctrl c and ctrl v or you can press ctrl d as well to duplicate So we have placed the lines here all you need to do is just to add the text here so this part is very easy and if you know how to do that you can skip to the end of the slide to view the final output else you can watch it till the end so now you can write the heading and the description if you have so I'm just writing the headings only so if your content has some stats so that would make it much more beautiful because the numbers looks really good in terms of percentage or some number like 13 million or 95 percent so you can always design the text in that way so here the steps are repetitive so this is the last thing that we are doing and let's change it to t and the slide design is complete you can add some branding add logo and at the title and you can do some final finishing and this is the final output i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share this video with your friends and colleagues and we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye